I don't know if this should be a video, honestly. I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm not sure if I'm, if this is a topic. You be the judge of it. This is what I got. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? So I finally got like a better tripod. <laughs> I think it's better. I haven't used it yet. Up until now, I've used this little thing, which I honestly have no idea what it's called, but it's just a little tripod and it's worked for me for like you know the last couple of months even more i think six months and it's been great uh, i forgot what it's called i think it's called a gorilla pod it's the one that casey neistat used i think it was the first one he was the first one using it so now that i've said casey neistat everybody's like Phew. all right let's open it I was right. It's called Gorilla Pod. All right, so what did I just get? This thing. In first glance, it looks very sturdy, very sturdy indeed. I like the look of it. The legs kind of like go whichever way you want, which is kind of like, you know, you put it like, ah, this. And now I'm holding the Joby tripod. And just vlog. I'm vlogging, Ellie. I'm vlogging here. Do I like it? Yes, I do. First glance, it looks really good. You even have this meter, right? That's so you don't do like this, right? And right now, I'm pretty much level. I need to get used to not, not looking at it. This thing costs like $57 on Amazon. It's a little bit heavier, obviously, with you know when you hold a camera this thing got 13,000 reviews with an average of 4.5 stars out of 5 I've read the bad reviews because I always like to like read the bad reviews and I was shocked by a few people I don't know what were they thinking if you buy a $57 tripod you can't complain if the legs start, you know, not being sturdy enough after 14 months of using it. I'm really happy you kind of get a, whoop, you kind of get like a 360 view of like my office, home office studio. That's nice. First impressions, I'm very happy with uh, this tripod. Um, it feels sturdy enough that, you know, it will hold. It feels flexible enough that I could move it around, place it on the ground, different heights, hold it in my hand, even hang it on something, and it will hold my camera. So overall, for $60, $57, this was a really good buy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out yourself. I'm gonna do like a three month, six months review after I bought it just to see if it holds up to the hype. I think it will, you know, at least a year, unless something extreme happens. And if you made it this far through the video, um, I appreciate it a lot. It really helps me out. If you could give me the thumbs up, if you like this video, I drop a new video every Wednesday. This is gonna be a new thing from now on. To all my subscribers, every Wednesday, new video is going to come out, I promise. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll see you in the next video.